Happy Flatter Day, boys. Flatter Day? Yeah, man. Who's this? I would call today Flatter Day. I think the tally by now is what it like uh, 19 tires or so killed. Oh, we're, I think we're over 20. Yeah. Yeah. I killed one today. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. 22? 22. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of flats. Yeah. Lot of flats. Mm -hmm. So we rode uh, in the, around the back 40 trails here in Northwest Arkansas. Yeah. And uh, some sharp stuff out there. Yeah. Uh, and. Uh, the bike we rode today, or one of the bikes we rode today, was the Cannondale Scalpel SI, and two glorious Racing Ralph tires on it. Yes. And the, that, that, I, that, I think, is going to be my segue into this bike, because I think <laughs> this bike has a little bit of an identity crisis. Yeah? In, in a good way and a bad way. Mm -hmm. So the, the whole idea behind this new Scalpel is that it is a little more aggressive XC bike. XXC. Right. An XXC bike. Yes, this is the word. marketing stuff. Yeah, yeah, XXC. Yeah. Which, but, you know, to, not to confuse people, though, because mm -hmm. they're not saying, like, this is now a trail bike. Mm -hmm. The Scalpel is still a purebred XC race machine, right? Mm -hmm. It's just that it's more yeah. capable, right? Yeah. Well, well they're and seeing the, that, like, you know, XC courses are getting a little more aggressive. Yeah. Well, Bikes are getting are more gnarly. capable. Riders are getting more aggressive. And they want to, I think Candle wants to match that with their XC bike. Right. Mm -hmm. Make the newest version of the fastest World Cup racing bike. Yeah. One of the ways they achieved that with this year's scalpel is with a, uh, a little more fork offset on their lefty. Cannondale went with a 55 mil offset on this. Yeah. Typical is like 51 for a 29. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The reason that that offset makes this bike XXC is that, so scalpels in the past have had like 71, 71.2 71 degree head angles. This one's a 69 and a half. Yeah. But it maintains more or less the same amount of trail. So it's, it's not floppy, it's really easy to control at slow speeds, really nice around tight switchbacks and stuff. Um, keeps a pretty moderate uh, wheelbase, 1144 mil wheelbase, which is the, the shortest in the test. Um, I mean, it's also the shortest travel, 100 mil rear, 100 mil front. Yeah. Um, but it, it has, it maintains that XC feel, but has a relatively slack head angle. And so what we sort of went and did was we took off that rigid C post, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we threw on a 170 mil drop reverb. That, so that's part of the identity crisis. Yeah. I mean, it has it has the routing for an internal dropper. Yep. Uh, so Rad. you can yeah you can do it. And <laughs> Cannondale has said that they they none of their factory team riders run a dropper post in any of the races at this point. At this sure. point, yeah. in any case, can we talk about the bike? How yeah. it rides already? Yeah. Oh, that yeah <laughs> sure. Let's go. I love this bike. Yeah. I had so much fun on this thing, and I don't I don't like XC bikes. Yeah, but I had a good time on this bike. Um, it just felt, I mean, obviously it is really lightweight. It just like surges forward when you put power into the drive train. It just wants to carry speed. Yes. Like you can pump and like any forward motion that you put into the bike, it puts, you know, into movement. Yeah. But not only that, it's, I thought it felt really capable too for, for an XC bike, for a 100 mil XC bike. Sure. Yeah. Like I, I didn't feel like I had to tiptoe into things that I otherwise would have had to tiptoe into on a typical XC bike. Right. I felt the exact same thing. I didn't think that I was going to be able to lean that thing over as much as I was able to, and I actually was riding a plus size bike mm -hmm. earlier in that day, which I was just like mm -hmm. way over. Yeah. And I was like, oh, the scalpel is not going to be as capable, you know, it's not mm -hmm. going to be as fun. And it was like, you know, obviously way faster up the climbs than that plus size bike, and it was super nimble and maneuverable and fun to ride and I just yeah I had a really good time on it yeah I agree it's every time I get on on a lefty bike I'm pleasantly surprised I mean it, and this one has new internals they have their two spring guts instead of their old solo air it's a little simpler a little more longevity it made a big difference and uh, I felt like I could go into things harder with more like confidence and no just knowing that I wasn't gonna hit something and just harshly bottom it. Mm -hmm. So, so we tested it first on the Ledges Trail, and then we also tested it on on Kessler Mountain, which is where we're testing our trail bikes. Um, and yeah, I felt I felt the exact same thing. Um, like there were some sort of 
ledgy sections at ledges, and the lefty with that earlier air spring in it just it didn't feel quite as refined and controlled. Um, but yeah, today I I wouldn't have known I was on a lefty. Yeah. So the one we tested goes for five thousand three hundred thirty bucks. Uh, it's an XT one by uh, Cannondale's pretty cool uh, SI BB30 cranks. Their hologram cranks have always been really, really pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, have to give credit where credit is due on that one. And I think they put the most popular build and I think the most popular colorway on probably the most popular price point. Yeah, you can I think go, so. Yeah, you can go way up to over ten grand with this mm -hmm. thing, right? Yeah, they have a they have a DI2 option. They have an internal DI2 battery mount, mm -hmm. so you can really go nuts. I, I also want to say I really like the feel of those stands wheels. Mm -hmm. I feel like they have a nice little bit of ride com uh, compliance. It's the ZTR Crest wheel. Yeah, um, it's they're not all that wide, but. You're not going to run probably all that wide of a tire on this bike, although I think it'd probably be fun with more oh, aggressive tires on it. on it. Yeah, yeah, we did. After Flatter Day, we put a little bit uh, burlier front tire on it, and I think that's that's where the uh, the identity crisis comes in. That I think the end user is going to be able to direct. This one came dual racing Ralph's straight seat post, yep. and uh, we changed a couple things and we made it into the kind of XC or XXC bike that we would ride. Yeah, and. Man, I like the direction that this thing went in. Yeah, I mean, I think like this is an XC bike that I would want to ride. Same here. For sure. Cheers to that. Let's go racing, boys. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's not take it up. <laughs>